I have our book that I read to you all on our Zoom call on Thursday, but if you missed that or if you just wanted to watch it again, I wanted to upload that so you could see it because, like I said, this is one of my all-time favorite books. I probably read this a hundred times when I was about your all's age. I love this book, Bugs. Beetles, bedbugs, bottle flies, tarantulas the size of pies with lots and lots and lots of eyes staring at you, bugs. A million maggots in a vase, lice as thick as mayonnaise, a horse fly that's so huge it neighs, glaring at you, bugs. Bugs with pinchers, claws and hair, bugs much fiercer than a bear, Buggies in your underwear, tearing at you, bugs. Oh, in your clothes they're resting, in your nose they're nesting. There isn't any question, they're infesting your intestine. Yep, loathe them or adore bugs. There's no way to ignore bugs. So even if you hate them, why not investigate them? Now you may have had a hunch. If you bite bugs, they will crunch. This is true, but stay alert. The fat ones sometimes squirt. Perhaps your intuition about those spit bugs you've been squishing is they're useless. That ain't true. They're great to barbecue. But bugs have far more uses than for barbecues or juices. You can do such nifty tricks with teetsy flies to ticks. So grab a garden spider, saddle her and ride her. Yippee yay, yay, yippee yay, yo, rope her at the rodeo. Rare beyond compare is caterpillar hair. Take a tweezers, yank it, weave yourself a blanket. Or know what's even better? A caterpillar sweater. There's a microscopic udder that you'll find on female fleas. You can milk them and make butter or the most delicious cheese. Teach your centipede to fetch. Teach her to play dead. Teach her to go potty in your mom and daddy's bed. A scorpion in a string bikini, a tick wearing only a hat, a tuxedo on a teeny weeny itsy bitsy gnat. Try millipedes for dental floss, fill them, scrape away the moss. Drop one down your sister's pants, watch her do the boogie dance. Incandescent fireflies, dragonflies, and bees. String them all together to light up Christmas trees. Wrapped in cast from head to toe, your brother cannot scratch. Drop termite larvae down the crack. He'll love it when they hatch. The flavor of a cricket is so sweet that you can lick it. It's actually far sweeter than the flavor of a skeeter. A bracelet made of butterflies, a beetle for a brooch. An earwig for a nose ring. In your navel, put a roach. Use spider webs for tissues. They're perfect trampolines. Roll them into balls and they taste like jelly beans. Strap a giant water bug underneath each toe. You can use them just like water skis or walk on H2O. Praying mantis pizza is a culinary must with lots of extra maggots and a daddy long leg crust. The pupa of bull weevils make bodacious curly wigs. For phenomenal fake whiskers, love those whirly gigs. Stink bugs, stink bugs, squish them in your fist, drop them in a pepper mill and give the crank a twist. Oh, touching a bug is yucky to some, that the thought of it makes them sweat. But bugs are truly fond of us. They'd like you as their pet. They'll train you to fetch sticks, to sit, roll over, play dead. They'll walk you on a leash. If you're good, they'll scratch your head. You'll sleep at the foot of their bed, cuddle in their laps, lick them when you're happy, nibble up their scraps. And then one day they'll polish you lovingly with wax attach you to a wall with bubble gum and tacks. How lucky can you get? For that's where you shall stay in their human being collection on permanent display.